game is going out. Come on, you rats! Wait! Jesus Christ! Let's get straight into it. And rip the drone. Right, hello everyone and welcome to this new video on the channel. So today it is the big one as Rovers are into the second round of the Carabao Cup and we've got a huge game in our hands as we visit Goodison Park, the home of Everton, as we've got Everton versus Doncaster Rovers. So in today's video I've got my thoughts pre and post match as well as the match day vlog itself and we've been a new ground on the channel this season. We're going to rate the ground so without further ado, let's get into the video. So just before we get into the video, if I could ask a huge favour from you all, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and I'll like this video with you an old or new viewer. Let's aim for 50 likes with Rovers being at Goodison Park. But anyway, enough about that stuff, let's get into my pre-match thoughts. So I think the best place to start off here is with the table. So let's start with the hosts Everton who are currently bottom of the Premier League after two games where they've had two defeats so far and they've conceded seven goals in them two games. Those Doncaster Rovers are faring a bit better than that currently in sixth place in League Two after three games with two wins and a defeat. So Everton's last result was a 4-0 away defeat to Tottenham Hotspur and they also had a 3-0 home defeat to Brighton on the opening day of the season and in terms of this competition the Carabao Cup uh, all Prem teams had a bye in the first round so all the Prem teams that are in European competition come into it in this round which is what Everton have done so not been a good start at all for Everton like I say I thought um, when I did my uh, Premier League predictions that they do well defensively but would struggle for goals but it's been a bit both to be fair at the minute they've not scored but we've conceded seven in two so they are struggling for numbers as well I've heard there's only 14 fit you know first team players whether that's true or not only Everton know but like I say fans are happy at the minute you saw that video of them after a Tottenham game where they were you know um, having a go up with players as we're getting onto the train um, so you know not a lot of happy people at Everton at the minute so I'll really be hoping for a result here or that could get a lot worse. As for Doncaster Rovers we got back to winning ways on at Saturday with a 1-0 home win against Morecambe which were a good response to the 3-1 loss to Newport the week before. Um, we didn't play absolutely fantastic but we got the job done which is the most important thing you know that could have been a draw or a loss last season I mean they were a poor Morecambe team a very poor team but you know you've got to beat what's in front of you and we did that and then yeah we'll move on to this game in the cup now so in the last round we beat Salford City 2-0 away which I weren't there but it sounded like it was a very very good performance so we're moving to this one now and um, obviously it's going to be a tough game playing Premier League team as a League 2 team but you know we're just going to give it our best and we can't really do anything more than that. So in previous results between these two teams, we actually played each other last season at this exact round, but this time it was at the Eco Power Stadium. Donny went 1-0 up in the first half, thanks to Joe Ironside, and then they brought the new big money man, Better One, who made it 1-0, and then they got a um, winner just before the 90th minute. So um, yeah, put, put a good fight up, Rovers, but just wasn't enough. And like I say, Everton brought the quality on, and... Um, it showed really, but a very good performance from the Rovers. So I think that brings me on to my prediction for today. Then, so which team is going to make put their place in the third round of the cup? My prediction is this could kind of go one or two ways for Everton. I feel. I feel like I say they've just had two heavy losses. They're thinking, oh god, we can't lose this one, or it's, you know, it's going to be a car crash, or they'll be thinking it's a good chance to get some confidence into the players. You know, give them some minutes, uh, and you know try and um, you know, get some confidence in them and get back to winning ways against a team a few divisions below them. Um, so in my, my opinion, I think Everton's going to go 1-0 up into half time. We're going to equalise and then Luke Molyneux is going to get a 90th minute winner. That is my prediction. Uh, it, it's going to be a tough one but got to go confident, aren't you? So my prediction is Everton 1, Doncaster Rovers 2. Anyway, that concludes my pre-match thoughts then. So it's the morning of the game. So we're actually stopping in Liverpool for a few nights. Travelling up today, Tuesday morning. Coming back on the Thursday. Um, so we've got a hotel booked. So plan of action is we're going to set off in about an hour's time. Uh, Mooch around Liverpool for a bit. Check into the hotel. Charge phones up. Get changed and that. And then head down to the ground and see what's what. Uh, so really excited for this. Uh, Lizzie's never been good to some before. I have been before. I was neutral against Brighton. Uh, start of 2023. Uh, but I've never been as an away fan. So I'm really looking forward to it. So I suppose it's time to make our way down. And so without further ado. Let's head on down to Liverpool. 
and see how the day goes. Right, here we go then with our Mackie's breakfast and ready to go to Liverpool. Are you excited? Yeah. What score are you thinking at the minute? Um, I'll ask you again later, but... I think 1-0. One 1-0. Nil. One nil. We'll nick it though. Yeah. They haven't scored, have they, sir? No, they haven't. I've conceded a lot. So, yeah, we're going to head down now. It says we'll be there about half 12. It's two, two and a half hour drive to get there. So, we're going to get set off now. Make our way down. And Lizzie is going to do work the travel montage. So, um, yeah. Without further ado, then, let's make our way down to Liverpool. And let's get into your travel montage. Yeah. Right, so now in Liverpool, it's not really the weather we had in mind, so we've got a pack cruise camp out and it's absolutely tipping it down. So we're going to try and let this weather blow over before walking back to the hotel and checking in. And then we're going to get changed, charge phones up, and then a bit time around Liverpool and then head to Goodison, see what it's like around there. So we will take you along with us as we go. We've got like sort of water here. Nice. Let's have a look. Oh my god, Adam. So look at this. Oh, look at this view. Oh, oh, I told you what. Hey, wait, look down that side. This will do. Look at this. Hell yeah. Right in view at Life Building. The Got the docks there. Massive thing here. I'll tell you what. This will do. <laughs> Come on! 
Guatemala.
Okay, we're just back at the room. Look at the lives we're building. It's time it looks absolutely incredible. You've got the docks over there. So, she didn't get the win, but nevertheless, like I say, that's been a great day overall. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, head to Adam tomorrow for his post-match thoughts. Okay, so it's now the next day, and it finished at full-time. Everton 3, Doncaster Rovers nil, and look, it, you know, a decent show from the lads, to be fair. I thought we didn't really do much wrong, to be honest with you. Um, you know, we gave it for all, and that is, against Premier League opposition, that is all you can do. Um, I'll be honest, I think 3-0 did flatter Everton a bit, in my opinion. Um, like I said, I thought they were, you know, better team, and, you know, easily should have won, but... You know, that's the difference between like Premier League players and uh, the rest because they didn't have too many chances but they took them really well in the second half. And um, yeah, that shows why they are a Premier League team. I mean, you know, it's easy to say like concede 7 in 2 and stuff like that. We're only two games into a 38 game season, so it's going to be interesting to see how they do now because this could, you know, give them a bit of confidence now and kickstart their season. I mean, we've got uh, Bournemouth at the weekend, that's a perfect game after this one to uh, really go out and uh, try and get. A good result and kind of start their Premier League season. Uh, whereas for us, like I say, um, it was kind of a you know nothing to lose game for us. We're going to give it our all. If we win, fantastic. We're in the next round. If not, then you know we weren't we we're heavy underdogs anyway. So yeah, but I thought we gave a good account of ourselves. To be fair, I thought several players had excellent games. I thought McGrath at the back were absolutely superb. Nixon had a very good game as well. And um, yeah, um, positive signs, like I say, from players that don't usually start. Um, you know, I thought they were superb. And, um, yeah, like I say, this game can only do us good in the long run as well. And now we're going to Port Vale at the weekend. And, um, yeah, I'm confident we can um, put a good performance on there. And, um, like I say, hopefully that'll give, you know, spare the lads on a bit. And, like I say, we're out of that cup now. We can focus on the league until the FA Cup comes into play in November. Um, so, yeah, a good good uh, showing overall. For the Rovers, I think all that is left to do now is rate the ground. Okay, it's time for Rate the Ground, man. So if you're new to the channel, what we do is, for each new ground we visit in the season, we'll give them a rating on five different categories. So we have got pre-match, the catering, the ground, the atmosphere, and the overall enjoyment. Each category is going to get a score out of five, a total score out of 25, and then we'll put them into a table with all the other grounds we have visited this season. So this time it is the turn of Everton. So without further ado, let's get straight into it and Rate the Ground. Okay, so we're going to start off with pre-match then. So what is there to do around the ground and the area? for the game so I uh, went to Anfield a couple of weeks ago if you're not watching that then uh, go ahead and check that video out but basically I said Liverpool is absolutely fantastic you've got absolute loads in the centre basically all on one street as well and um, like I say though most uh, like we didn't have a problem getting in any of them uh, there were people with Rover shirts in there so you know it's in pretty away fan friendly as well um, it's quite a touristy street as well so um, you know they'll probably be trying to cater to that so they were quite welcoming to Rovers fans. Uh, around the ground, we have got a uh, fan zone. It were absolutely chucking it down, so we only stayed out there for one drink, unfortunately, because I've been before, and that fan zone is really good to stay in. Um, and like I say, there's a few pubs for the spoons not too far away. Um, yeah, I um, not really any complaints from me. Um, and like I say, if you want to go into the concourse, it's not too bad in there. It's not too cramped at all. Um, so, yeah... Um, I'm yeah, I'm um, gonna go pretty high here. I'm gonna go for a four and a half out of five. Okay, moving on to catering now. So um on the outside of the ground in the fan zone, the food is superb. Uh, but that's more pre-match. Uh, in terms of catering in the ground, it's pretty standard for what you'd expect at football, you know, pies, beers, uh hot dogs, that sort of stuff. Um like I say, no complaints with the food. Uh, I didn't have any food in the ground, my dad had a pie and he said that were you know pretty nice standard football pie. Service was really good, to be fair. To say we had 3,000 fans all in, like, one concourse bit. They got through the queues pretty quick, in my opinion. And, um, like I said, my girlfriend went down on 40 minutes and got drinks, no problem. Um, so, yeah, um, can't really complain at the service. Prices are kind of what you'd expect to pay at the football. So, yeah, um, pretty standard. No absolute sparkling about it, but nothing bad either, to be fair. So, for catering, I'm going to go three out of five. Next up, we've got the ground, and I'm a big fan of Goodison Park. It needs a bit of a lick of paint in areas, but like I say, there's not many of these grounds with, you know, character left. Um, you know, I can think of a few of us like, you know, like your Villa Park and your Anfield, you know, from old school grounds, which have been modernised a bit. Um, so it's a shame to see Everton moving, in all honesty. I'm looking forward to seeing the new stadium, but, you know, Goodison Park is so iconic. Um, 
yeah, really, really good. Um, like I say, this is based on the level it is at as well. So in terms of prems, you've got better grounds in my opinion, but you know, not too many that have the character of Goodison Park. It could do a bit of a lick of paint here and there. So for the ground, I'm going to go for a four and a half out of five. Next up, we've got atmosphere, and um, I got told in the away, and you can create quite a good atmosphere because the roof is quite low, so it kind of traps the noise in, and we're definitely right. Um, you know, great atmosphere in with the 3000 Rovers fans. It sounded fantastic. When Everton was singing as well, you could hear that pretty well. I mean, I've been in the end where they sit quite a bit, and it does make a good noise, you know, when they are at it. But obviously, things aren't that great at Everton at the minute, so you won't expect their fans to be bouncing, and they're playing a cup game against a team you know, in League 2 and their Prem team, so atmosphere is never going to be the best from the Everton fans, but I thought it pretty good overall, like I say, especially in the away end, um, you can create a good atmosphere, so for atmosphere, I'm going to go for a 4 out of 5. And finally, and probably most importantly for me, we've got overall enjoyment, I've had an absolutely fantastic time, like I say, we uh, drove up to Liverpool, we're staying for a couple of nights, um, we've explored the city, like I say, went to a few bars in the city centre, went to Everton itself, a great fan zone, great fans as well, all the ones we talked to were really friendly, and um, yeah, had a great chat with a few of them, uh, in the ground as well, had a great time uh, around, you know, decent Rovers fans as well, and um, yeah, really, really enjoyed my day, cannot fault it really at all, apart from the result maybe, so uh, for Everton, it's going to get a 5 out of 5. So this gives Everton a total score of 21 out of 25, which puts it to the top of the table. So we've got a new leader at Rape Ground for now then. So you might notice the team that's below is Liverpool by a single point. Uh, a few things I'd kind of say. When I went to Liverpool, it felt very touristy, if that makes sense. Like um, it would kind of like, you know, put on for tourists, whereas Everton felt like a proper club with proper fans. I'm not saying Liverpool aren't proper fans at all, um, but it felt like kind of... You're at a, you know you're at a football club whereas I know Liverpool were friendly as well but it kind of felt catered towards the tourists rather than you know the fans whereas Everton were a proper old school club um, but yeah that's not me like I say slagging off Liverpool fans or anything like that um, it just felt that way to me it felt like you're at a proper club um, and Goodison Park like I say a proper old school ground which there's not many of left so I'm good to see it going that'll probably well it will be my last time at Goodison Park. Um, sorry, I'm good about that, but nevertheless, it's going to be interesting to see how they do in the new stadium. Hopefully, they will be in the Premier League for that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to leave this video here then, so thank you very much for watching. If you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel and like this video, whether you're an old or new viewer. Any support is greatly appreciated by me and goes a long way to helping the channel grow. Also, remember to follow my social medias at Adam Gittings PT on pretty much everything to see what we'll get up to the rest of the time in Liverpool. So, the next match on the channel, we are sticking with the Rovers away days. We have got Port Vale versus Doncaster Rovers on Saturday. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.